NHK has obtained a report by the International Atomic Energy Agency on the nuclear accident at Fukushima. It says Japanese officials didn't do enough to prevent the disaster. The summary report was prepared by 180 scientists from more than 40 countries. The IAEA board examined it this week before a final version is issued in September. The report says there were projections that a magnitude 8.3 quake will lead to tsunami measuring up to 15 meters high. It says officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company didn't take necessary precautions. The report also points out measures to prevent the flooding of emergency diesel generators were inadequate. The experts have proposed a periodic review of safety requirements. They also recommend assuming scenarios in which multiple natural disasters occur simultaneously. The Japanese government sponsors technical internship programs for trainees from developing countries. However, many trainees are believed to have illegally moved to other workplaces. The technical intern training program allows foreigners to acquire skills and know how while working in Japan for up to three years. 160,000 trainees are enrolled in the program. Data from Japan's Justice Ministry shows more than 4,800 people left the program in 2014. The number is increasing year by year, and nearly 40% of them went missing within one year after coming to Japan. Tokyo Metropolitan University professor Kyoto Tano says some trainees try to find higher paying jobs as their real wages decline due to the weaker yen. Many trainees who come to Japan want to earn money rather than learn skills. As long as their motivations don't change, this program won't function properly. Other problems with the program have also surfaced. Some firms refuse to pay prearranged amounts to trainees. Others force them to work longer hours than legally allowed. Lawmakers will deliberate bills to correct the situation. The roadmap for scrapping the Fukushima plant maintains the initial target of starting the most difficult work the removal of melted nuclear fuel from its reactors within six years. But the plan still does not set a schedule for such t h i n g as which reactor will come first and when. Officials from the government and TEPCO endorsed the revised plan on Friday. It's the first time in two years that the decommissioning plan for the reactors has been revised. The plan now calls for studying new methods to remove the molten fuel, in addition to using the current methods. The new methods will not utilize water to shield workers from strong radiation. The initial methods entailed filling the reactor containment vessels with water before removing the melted fuel, but this was found to be more difficult than originally thought due to the possibility of water leaks from the vessels as well as the need to make sure their earthquake resistance. In the roadmap, officials maintain the previous goal of starting to remove the melted fuel by 2021.
Japanese cuisine is increasingly popular around the world. One of the appeals of washoku is its use of fresh seasonal ingredients. Now Japanese delivering firms are responding to the growing number of people in Asian cities trying to get their hands on these ingredients. Hong Kong is one of Asia's key financial hubs. This family orders from Japan every week. These freshly picked cherries have arrived from northern Japan. I didn't know they would be so sweet. Japanese food is part of the culinary scene in Hong Kong. Consumers are developing a taste for fresh Japanese ingredients. Many want to import directly from source. Japanese delivery businesses are starting to expand refrigerated parcel services to meet these demands. Yamato Transport has set up a Hong Kong affiliate to deliver refrigerated products door to door. Aomori is the northernmost prefecture on Honshu Island. Local fishermen catch many varieties of fish, but it was only possible to offer next day delivery to regions in northern Japan. International refrigerated delivery services caught their attention. Scallops are brought into this Aomori port at 4 a.m. They will be sent to Hong Kong. The scallops are placed in the refrigerator and then loaded onto a plane. The jet arrives at Naha Airport on the southwestern island of Okinawa. The airport is a 24-hour hub for cargo. And Naha is just four hours from most major Asian cities. So next day delivery to Asian countries is possible. The scallops left Naha early morning and arrived at the distribution center in Hong Kong before noon. This sushi restaurant is the customer. Diners in Hong Kong today can enjoy yesterday's catch from Aomori. They're about 20% more expensive than frozen scallops, but customers are willing to pay a premium. The scallops were shipped by the seafood wholesaler in Aomori City. The company directly takes online orders from overseas customers. The wholesaler hopes to increase its sales by directly dealing with customers in other countries. We hope overseas markets will learn about our goods. We expect the Aomori brand will be able to build up a reputation, so people in other countries will pay a premium. It will be great if those in the fisheries industry can earn more through these initiatives. Demand for fresh food is high in the international market. Advanced logistics can connect Japan with other Asian countries in a shorter time and help Japan's local industries to develop new markets. Nursing care costs are ballooning in Japan as the population rapidly ages. They topped 9 trillion yen in fiscal 2013. That's more than double what it was 15 years ago when nursing care insurance was first introduced. The welfare ministry says costs for the service totaled 9.2 trillion yen or about 75 billion dollars for the year ending March 2014. That is an increase of 4.8 percent in yen terms from the previous year. When the nursing care insurance system started in 2000, the annual cost was 3.6 trillion yen. An average of 4.8 million people a month use nursing care services in fiscal 2013. That is up 5.3 percent and the highest number on record.
Ministry officials estimate the cost will double from their current level to hit 21 trillion yen in 10 years when baby boomers will all be aged 75 or older. The officials say they'll make efforts to minimize costs by trying to help the elderly stay fit. They say they'll also improve the system so that it can provide nursing care services to everyone yeah, that needs organizers them. are working to make the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics a success while keeping an eye on costs. Venues for most of the sports have been decided on, but plans to construct a new national stadium are facing several problems. Top officials of the International Olympic Committee approved sites for eight sports. The Tokyo Organizing Committee had proposed moving some venues after reviewing its initial plan. Organizers say they can cut costs by $700 million by changing the venues. The sailing competition will now be held in Enoshima, outside Tokyo. I look forward to the events. I may be able to watch them as I live near here. I guess many foreigners will visit here. It might be good for the local economy. Venues for 26 sports have already been decided. Plans for only two sports have yet to be finalized. But the IOC president is concerned about plans for the new national stadium. We uh, do not uh, want uh, uh, to have a continuing uh, discussion on the, on the stadium uh, there and uh, somehow overshadowing uh, this uh, excellent uh, progress uh, being made in, uh, in Tokyo. An Iraqi architect won the competition to design the new stadium. It was designed to hold 80,000 spectators with an estimated cost of about a billion dollars. Tokyo! Yeah! But after Tokyo won the bid, officials found the construction cost would be more than $2 billion. So the government decided to scale down the design to make it smaller and cheaper, reducing the cost to $1.3 billion. But builders say the total cost would be much higher because of the rising prices of materials. They fear the stadium may not be finished as scheduled. Japan's education and sports minister wants Tokyo to pay around $400 million for construction of the facility. We would like the Tokyo Metropolitan Government to bear part of the building cost. But the governor of Tokyo says he wants to know why the city must pay so much money. There must be specific basis if you ask the people of Tokyo to pay taxes worth $400 million. The minister says he will consider legislation on the basis of such a request. It will likely take some time before we know the details of the design and the total cost of the main In Olympic another stadium. White paper officials are asking both the public and private sectors to make greater efforts to encourage foreign tourists to spend more. More than 13 million people visited Japan last year and spent about $16 billion. Both figures are record highs. This year's tourism white paper says foreign travelers are now having a definite effect on the Japanese economy. It calls for greater efforts to encourage visitors to loosen their purse strings, such as opening more duty-free shops in town and making it possible for them to pay with their local credit cards. Officials want revisions to the quarantine system to make it easier for tourists to take agricultural produce and other food items back home. They're also urging the tourism industry to create package tours that will expose visitors to cultural experiences such as kabuki and tea ceremony and allow them to try their hands at traditional It's widely known that champagne refers to a sparkling wine made in northeastern France and scotch whiskey is made only in Scotland. Japanese officials plan to establish sake as a brand of a domestically brewed alcoholic drink made from Japanese rice. Cheers. Kanpai. In April, a state dinner was held at the White House in Washington for the Japanese Prime Minister. Japanese sake was used for the toast. Sake is becoming more popular overseas amid a global Japanese food boom. It drew a lot of attention at a major food expo in Milan last month. Japan's National Tax Agency officials briefed ruling Liberal Democratic Party members on new rules concerning how Japanese sake is to be labeled. The agency plans to define Japanese sake as a domestically brewed alcoholic drink made from rice grown in Japan. The new rules differentiating Japanese-made sake from foreign brewed sake are expected to increase exports of the beverage. 
I want to promote sake made from Japanese rice and water in Japan with Japanese technology. The agency officials also plan to define Japanese wine as wine made from grapes produced in Japan. They hope to adopt the new rules for Japanese wine and Japanese sake by the end of this year.